Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given logarithmic equation. And the very first step that we want to do is we want to simplify the left hand side of this equation by using this rule. So we will be using this rule to compress our left hand side. So here this is our a this is our b and this part is our c as long as there's a plus sign you multiply them out so i can write using this rule i can write log of 2 times x times x minus 1 with the base 3 equals to 1. so far so good so this is a base Three, by the way so if we can uh, go ahead and multiply them out with the base 3 so 2x times x minus 1 makes 2x square minus 2x equals to 1 now we wanna convert this logarithmic equation into an exponential one and we will be using this fact so if you want to convert from logarithmic equation to an exponential one so in this case our base is 3b this is our a and this right hand side is our c let's go ahead and convert it so this could be written as 2x square minus 2x equals to 3 power 1 so let's go ahead and simplify it so 2x square minus 2x 3 power 1 is same as 3. So now I want you to move this 3 on the left hand side. So this could be written as 2x squared minus 2x. When you move 3 on the left hand side, this becomes negative 3 equal to 0. Now this is our quadratic equation that we will solve using a quadratic formula. And here's the quadratic formula that we will be using. And I put down values A value, B, and C values. Here A equals to 2, B equals to negative 2, C equal to negative 3. Let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula to solve for X. So X equal to minus, and B is negative 2, plus minus, B square is negative 2, square minus 4 times a is 2 c is negative 3 everything is divisible by 2 times 2 so negative and negative become positive 2 plus or minus negative 2 square is 4 this becomes 24 and divided by 2 times 2 is 4 so this simply becomes 2 plus r minus square root of 28 divided by 4. So now I want you to focus on this part only. Square root of 28. I can break it down. 28 could be written as 4 times 7. Break that radical down into 2. Now you know square root of 4 is 2. I can write 2 times square root of 7. And that's what I'm going to replace it. So I can write 2 plus minus 2 times square root of 7. And here I can split 4. I can write this way. All right. So far so good. So x equals to then 2 over 4 could be reduced to 1 over 2 plus or minus square root of 7 over 2 and that is our solution. Thus our solution set turns out to be 1 over 2 plus square root of 7 over 2 and 1 over 2 minus square root of 7 over 2 by splitting these two positive and negative signs. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.